Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some pyjamas. I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. I'm not going to use my usual pattern cutting methods. I'm going to be using clothes I already have to create the pattern. So hopefully you guys can follow along if you want to make them as well. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm just going to quickly sketch out my final design so you guys can see what we're going to do. So this is basically what we're making, a very bad rough design here but you get the idea. So we've got like a, a square t-shirt and it's got a few gathers in the front here and then the trousers are just simple gathered waist. Um, I bought some elastic the other day so we can just use that. So now I'm going to show you how to create a super simple pattern using pyjamas that you already have and this is the fabric I'm going to be using today it's old bed sheets well I never use them as bed sheets I bought them as fabric um, from Zara home and I love this so much so I thought a pair of pyjamas would look very nice in that let's work on the trouser pattern first these ones are from ASOS and they're my favorite pyjamas because they're super long which is so handy and I'm probably going to add a little bit of length to them because I do like my pyjamas to be long enough. And then all you want to do is just trace, trace out your pattern by following the edges of your thing. So when it gets to the top, I'm just going to stretch out the elastic see where those sides would have gone. So here we've got the top of the trouser traced off and then for the back I just want to make sure this is a little bit higher. And then it goes down like that. So only a tiny bit different for the back. And I'm going to add one centimetre seam allowance to all of this. I'm sorry if you're struggling to see this, but now I need to add the length of the waistband that's going to go on. So the waistband on these is just a continued section of the trouser. So I need to get my elastic and I just need to measure that and then add double and a centimetre seam allowance. So I'm going to add six centimetres onto the top here. So that one does it for the front. And then I'm going to add six centimetres for the back piece as well. And now I'm going to move on to the t-shirt block. So for this, I'm obviously going to use a t-shirt. <laughs> And the first thing I actually want to do is to mark a long line that's going to be our centre front. And then from our centre front, I'm just going to make a line across the bottom, which is going to be the bottom of our top. And then I want my t-shirt to be a little longer than this, so I'm going to put my t-shirt about here. And I'm just going to roughly trace out a pattern. I'm going to add a bit of a bigger neckline. I want it to just be able to fit on over the head and no worries. And then I'm going to trace armhole. I've got the neckline here and I'm just going to keep it the same for the front and the back just so that you guys find this super easy. And then I need gathers at one point. So I'm going to just draw a line across here and that is where I'm going to add gathers in this section. So we just want to extend this whole section by a little bit. I wouldn't worry about being too precise with this. I'm going to add a little bit of a curve here just so that when it meets here it can go back up into the 
armhole and then we'll just go straight down so for the sleeve again I'm gonna do it in half on the master pattern and for this you want to do exactly the same that we did with the bodice do a straight line up the middle and that's our center center of the sleeve the sleeves are a little bit different you could put them on here and trace them out like this and then but then you'd have to keep moving this bit out um, and also I don't want a sleeve that's this tiny because <laughs> we know me I like my big sleeves and so I'm just going to show you how to create a really simple sleeve pattern so I'm just gonna go freehand with a sleeve pattern and do something like that sleeves are actually very easy once you sort of understand them a little bit um, so I'm gonna gather at the top and that will be a nice sleeve. So I'm gonna now trace off all of this and you can see what the pattern pieces look like. pattern piece and then this is the front and the back <laughs> and then we've got this is the only one that we're going to cut on the fold which is the front and back main part of the bodice that we're going to gather and then we just have the front and the back legs of the pajamas so I'm going to get started and cut these out in the fabric I'm not going to bother twirling them because we're just going to go with it and they're just pyjamas at the end of the day. I want this to be a really quick, easy thing that you guys can do at home. So I've got the fabric lying nice and flat, doubled over and now I'm going to add these two pattern pieces. Okay, now I'm going to cut the bodice out and I'm going to use this floral version of the same fabric. all the pins and the pattern pieces and then I'm going to go and iron all of these bits. Okay I'm going to work on the top first so the first thing I'm going to do is create the very top of the top so I'm going to sew the facing together at the shoulders just along the top there and then I'm going to do the same for the front pieces. So now that I've sewn across the top, I'm gonna to press that open and then I can go and sew the neckline. And I also just added my label in the back facing, just cause, why not? And also it will be good as like acting almost as a hook for if I want to hang it up somewhere. So the next step I'm going to choose which front piece I like the best and I think I'm going to go with this one and then I'm just going to pop the facing on top of it and we're just going to sew one big continuous circle to make the neckline. I'm going to pin it a little bit so that I don't get any surprises when I'm sewing.
this is what the top is looking like so far. So we've got a really nice neat neckline and it fits over my head really easily. I just tried it on and I've just done a double stitch along the top of the front and back pieces and that is going to be attached along here. It's really hard to show with one hand but yeah I'm going to attach that gathered section along here and that will finish off the top bit. So I've sewn on the gathered panels to the front and onto the back and then I also stitched down the side to close up the bodice. So that bit's done and it's looking super cute. So now I'm going to work on the sleeves. So the first thing I'm going to do with the sleeve is to fold it in half and stitch down here and then I'm going to overlock that and then I will do a nice rolled hem along the bottom. Okay, so I've just put one sleeve in to check it looks okay, which it does. So now I'm going to show you how I did it. Just now I showed sewing up the side of the sleeve and I hemmed it at the bottom and I also added a double row of gathering stitch and I'm going to pull that and gather up the sleeve so that I can fit it into the armhole. So that's the sleeve gathered up and now I'm going to take the other armhole and just pop that inside in there, turn the bodice inside out and then I will go and pin this and stitch this on the inside. And then to make sure it's lining up you want to get the seam you joined in the sleeve matching the side seam. And then I made a notch at the top of the sleeve and then I just match that to the top of the top. So that is how I make sure they look even on both sides. So I put the top to one side for now and next I'm going to work on the trousers. I haven't made trousers in so long, <laughs> um, generally because I don't, they don't work very well for me. <laughs> okay, so I've got my two front pieces here, so I'm going to lie those out, and then I've got my back pieces which I'm just going to put on top of one another. First thing we're going to do is stitch the outside seam and this inside seam. Okay, so both pieces have been sewn all the way down. I'm going to make sure I get the front and back the right way around. So now I'm turning them the right way around. And I'm going to put the crotch together and sew that up. So we have a pair of trousers. So that's the crotch. And then I'm going to sew all the way up the back and all the way down the front. Okay, now I've got them looking a bit like trousers <laughs> and I overlocked the top edge just to keep it nice and neat and now I'm going to fold one centimeter under the top and then I'm going to fold however much I need to cover the elastic and just press that down
but I've just ironed the waistband of the trousers and now I'm going to just pin it into place before I stitch it down and when I stitch it down I have to leave a little gap at the back for the elastic to be threaded into. So this is my back along here and I'm going to leave a gap of about this long to be able to get the elastic into and then I'm just going to stitch the rest with a nice straight stitch. I'm just going to roughly try these on top of my jeans quickly to see how high they come up and then I can work out how big I need to make the elastic. I'd say about there. So now I'm going to find a paper clip that I can use to thread the elastic through the hole and out the other side and then I can stitch them together when they come back out. So I'm just going to attach that to the end of the elastic and then I'm just going to start threading it through the waistband. That's a pretty good fit actually. I don't think I'd want it any tighter than that. I can sew that elastic into place now. So I'm going to find the area that I just pinned together. Bring that out. And I'm going to stitch those together. And then the elastic can go back into the trousers. And I'm going to stitch that elastic onto the back of the trousers so that it's got an anchor point somewhere and then I can close up the hole. I'm also going to anchor the elastic at the front so that you don't get any big bits bunching up anywhere. They look very cute and comfy. So I'm going to add a ruffle to the bottom of the trousers and so that means I need to trim off a little bit at the bottom. So I'm going to measure against the trim, so about that much, and then I'm just going to chop the length straight off. There we go. And then all I'm going to do is on each leg with the ruffle I'm going to sew it on like this first and then I'm going to overlock, bring it down and stitch up the seam on the inside. Just like that they are finished. I love how the trousers turned out with the little ruffles at the bottom. I think that's super cute. And then for the top I just did a neat little rolled hem at the bottom. And yeah I'm gonna go and try this on now and show you guys what it looks like on. So yesterday I finished the pyjamas and I wanted to try them on properly for you guys. And I think they look super cute. I'm really happy with the top. I think they definitely look like pyjamas and the length is just right and then the trousers turned out really well I'm so happy with these and then they've just got the little gathered bits at the bottom which I think are quite fun so there we have it, those are the finished pyjamas I really hope you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try this out for yourself um, and I'd love to see how you get on and yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video bye